Here's the Asus MemoPad FHD 10. It's got a 10 inch screen. It's actually a bigger screen than the new iPad. A really great screen resolution. It's 1980 by 1200 I believe which is a little bit less than the Apple with the retina display but it's still better than most of the tablets out there in the market. And the screen is extremely responsive. What I like about having an Android tablet is that if you have a Google account all the apps that you have on your smartphone will automatically get downloaded onto the tablet. I also downloaded Adobe Flash to this particular tablet. You can still do it on the internet, just use an older version of the Flash player and the Puffin web browser actually works with the Flash. It's got a nice home button here. Hooking up to the Wi-Fi was very easy. I've done it on two different locations now with no issues and I have different browsers on here. You can see that it's pretty quick, very responsive. It also has a really nice home button here to get you back and then these will stay on the bottom. You can actually change out these apps on the bottom here, but they'll stay wherever, whatever page you go on. So I've loaded a lot of apps on here. I haven't had a problem with any apps not running. Um, again, the widgets are really good. You have Task Manager. You can kill stuff with it. It's really good on this particular tablet also. It also has the word list that you can actually click on, make you type quicker. It's really responsive. It says you'll get a 10 hour battery life, but I have the, the uh, screen set to full brightness. Get the display here. So I have it all the way up to the full brightness. You can lower the brightness down. I think when you get it, automatic brightness is set pretty low. That gives you the longer battery life. But I like to have the full bright screen. The tablet, the sleep is set for 30 seconds. But I have it set longer. I put mine at 10 minutes. So I doubt if I'll get more than 5 hours in the battery life with the screen at full brightness. And I'm not sleeping until 10 minutes of non-use. The sound quality is excellent. Here's one of my YouTube videos. I'll show you how it sounds right here. You can see the sound quality is great. Resolution is really good. So it's really loud for a tablet. It's a squirrel that I rescued in Pasadena. It has really good quality with the photos also. And it's very quick and responsive. You can see here. Pull up a photo here. You can see the good quality of the of the screen. It also records video at 1080 and it's got a 5 megapixel camera. It also has a front camera for Skype and other uh, video chat. Let me turn on the camera so you can see it here. So it's got a camera. You'll be one of those people carrying a tablet taking photos. It's also pretty lightweight and it has that nice color. I actually got a case for it right here. Is it a USB charger also, or you can plug it into the wall. And here's the tablet in the root case here. And there's a part on the side here for a mini SD card. You can have up to 64 gigabytes of memory here. It comes with 16 built in. You can also buy the version with 32 built in, but if you have an expansion for memory, you probably don't need that. Also has a cable for a USB connection. And it has headphone jacks on this side here, along with the volume button. And what I like about these cases is that like, when you close it, it turns the screen off. When you open it, it turns it back on. So it's good to have that feature, especially if you're going to leave it on without sleeping for 10 minutes. All in all, for the cost of the unit, I think it's a great investment, especially with the screen resolution, the responsiveness, and the Asus brand, which they're the third largest manufacturer of laptops.